Hey guys, KTV here. We've all seen these clocks. They're pretty cheap. This one's just your cheap standard black facial one. 199 in a bargainy pound stretchery store. Listen. That is extremely loud, especially at night. So what do you do about it? You could pay more money and buy a type of um a new type of um mechanism on it, as in no not a mechanism and a whole new clock. Or you can go to eBay and buy this. Now what's the difference in this? This is a silent sweep mechanism. This one isn't from eBay, this is taken out of a smashed and once got well the plastic face which gone. I have ordered a silent sweep mechanism on eBay. However, I have a silent sweep clock there. So I'm going to just do the mechanism on that and leave the plastic cover for friends on that cover. So how do you do it, you may ask. It's relatively easy. So you need to take the battery out. Obvious. Safety first. And because it's so cheap, you just pop the rivet up on each side a screwdriver. You don't even want to be hot. Now you're in the guts of it, you very gently want to take them off. Now we go to the back of our clock and we look. On this one you have two tubs. So you do literally you just got to pop, get your screwdriver down there And that comes out like that. What I would do, throw this mechanism away. It's just a hunk of crap. Now, you've got to make sure that you're pointing. Now we've got a blank face, so you've got to just plug your new mechanism in place. Make sure it's clicked in, maybe get a bit of, either get a nut washer or hot glue, or whatever, really. Just maybe a bit of hot glue around the sides if you can't mount it type thing I know I've done one clock with this I do it to silent the silent and the ticking because we had problems downstairs we're allowed ticking one so I brought one of these mechanisms put this in and it hasn't dared since so you could put your battery in now in terms of hands I have my standard black hands these were your original ones or I have these plastic style hands so I'm going to be using them how do you install them you may ask literally all you have to do correct way around push them into the mechanism push them in gently but surely for Chris's sake you keep it up at 12 o'clock then you get your little your minute hand that's in there. That might be rubbing against the top of this. Yeah, this minute hand might be a bit long. However, all I'm going to do is just take the tinkies piece off that. Hopefully that should be enough to do. Yeah, that seems pretty Yeah, that seems pretty accurate. So let's bang on twelve o'clock. You put your cover back in. You put your battery back in. Silence. You set it to your time. And you got silence. No more ticking. This is the trouble. You pay a pound, you get a mechanism like that, and all you get is driven up the wall and you just want to smash it. So, in the future, if you've got a cheap clock and you like it, but you don't want to tick in, just do this simple mod. It costs about £3 to buy a mechanism on eBay. I have actually ordered a couple of mechanisms because originally I was going to wait, but then since I saw that was broken, I kind of 
use the mechanism out of that, but I still have, I can still use this clock face, I can still get a mechanism in there, I'm sure this one a bit good, yeah, and then put your hands on, but I'm not going to put that one back, because that one's loud clicking, so when the Uvo mechanism arrives, I'm going to do the same thing to that, and I might be able to find a replacement plastic piece for it as well, so yeah, that's how you do it, that is how you do it, that is pure silent now so bye guys